I'll come right there. Regarding the demonstration that occurred here yesterday, did any White House official have any role in the decision to forcibly push back the protesters before his visit? So what I was told is that um, the authorities make those decisions, and they make those decisions generally because they were already they had already decided to expand the perimeter from H Street to I Street, based on the events from the night before. In addition, I would just say as along with you as somebody who watches the president's movements and the way law enforcement um, tackles those, if you, if you will, is uh, accommodates those, is they make a, a moment by moment decision as to how best to safeguard the president, the vice president, and other protectees of the, secret, of the United States Secret Service. Um, I'm glad nobody was hurt. I'm very happy that, you know, especially including people who complain, they need to hear more from the president, where is the president? So you see the president in the Rose Garden, he walks over to St. John's Church, and uh, somehow that's open to criticism too. I think the president was there to speak to all people, not to just address his critics at all, and his naysayers. He's there to speak to all people, and, um, and to stand in solidarity with people of faith, and even people who don't have a, a religion that they claim. Just to say, anarchists and arsonists, that's not peaceful protesting. You're, burnt, you're setting fire to a historic, you know, historic structure in the Church of Presidents, and it will not stand. So the president had no role whatsoever in, in the decision. Not that I'm aware of. That would surprise me. Yeah. I don't think anybody asks him to make decisions about his security. You know, alluded to earlier in the day there being um, more of a crackdown on when he called, in his call with governors yesterday. They alluded to there being a crackdown in D.C. We'll see what's happening. He was very 